Hello and welcome to another uh, Secret Did You Do Knowledge lesson. Uh, this one is about breathing on the tooth. And you know, while some time ago it was uh, considered impossible that a human being could breathe on the tooth. But as it proved, it is not. And actually it's quite simple. So let's go straight to it. If you remember the push and pull uh, tutorial, it explained the pull as this jaw movement, basic pull exercise is a jaw movement, jaw going down and then up and on the movement of the jaw up, uh, the lips also really were pressed together and you inhaled. So it was like, ah, <laughs> probably remember. And in case you don't, you can check out that video. Now the thing is that inside that strong pressure of lips, there hides a tooth. You just have to clean up the right um, pressure, the, the, the right tension of lips to get the tooth. Because tooth is a um, function of, of lip tension. So we, we sometimes speak about tooth like tooth from the jaw or from the tongue or throat. But these are just triggers um, for the lips to start vibrating on a different level than on drone. So drone is here, dude. Is a little bit higher. So when you have this jaw movement, there are frequencies all over the place. But uh, you can hear that somewhere there lies a tooth. And because you inherit the movement from before, you already have breathing on it. So it was just a matter of cleaning up uh, that lip tension to get the tooth from the movement that you already know how to do. because. In the previous exercise and the pull exercise you were just focusing on how to do the pull movement so you embedded the movement in your dna now you just fine-tune it there is nothing really new so everything um, that you need to think about the only thing that you need to think about is this lip tension that needs to be just right on the tooth and it's not very uh, strong lip tension it's just a little bit more than the drone if you have a okay dig, a good dig. So you start by doing the messy, noisy sound and try to hear the tooth which is somewhere there and then isolate that both in your hearing and in your executing. So there it was. It was a bit farty, but there it was. And maybe you lose it sometimes, but it's important to know what you're after. And uh, the body aligns itself. So if you start uh, wanting to hear that, your body will follow and will start to produce that as well. You know, it's like everything in you becomes the tooth for that small moment. So that's the first step. Uh, I recommend that you don't play too slow or too fast because if you play it too slowly, you have to uh, use the air in your mouth very, very gradually and um, um, inhaling not too long, not to get overinflated. And uh, it's not easy to push the air with your tongue. Your jaw is moving. So this is what you have to think, like, I have to move my jaw. But basically your tongue is pushing the air out. It's not your jaw bone that is pushing the air. The tongue is moving together with the jaw and pushes the air out. And if it's too slow, then you have to really fine tune that pushing that the air goes out very consistently, that the lips get 
just enough of air and that you don't push that air too fast and so on. So I don't recommend it to play it as slowly as possible. Sometimes when you learn you have to play it quite slowly, but this is not the case. You, so you have to find some middle speed, okay? So something like this. And don't forget to move the jaw. And if this is easy for you, then you can try to press your lips a little bit harder and feel if there is something else there. And probably there is, probably you can find a second tooth. So it's just a matter of pressing your lips a little bit tighter. And again, it's slightly tighter. You don't go all out like... Okay, so it's a little bit, you know, next step. And if that is easy for you, you can go and check for the third tooth. And you can play the game that you don't go from the drone, but from the first tooth to second tooth. Or from the first tooth to the third tooth. Or from the second tooth to the third tooth. The breathing is always on the higher tooth. And now it doesn't look like much and it doesn't sound like much maybe because you are doing just a very basic exercise and you're still looking for them and sometimes the tooths become squeaky, sometimes you're off. Sometimes the squeakiness is very beautiful, um, but you need to map in your body where uh, these tooths are and you need to be sure to make sure that they always come from the movement so from the air coming just from your mouth that is very important because you need to be able to inhale on that movement so i hope you find this exercise interesting and if you have any more questions please write them in the comments and uh, thanks so much uh, spiral out keep playing dig uh, like subscribe